time to crack into this July birch box, friends, and will you take a look at that? I feel like I'm I'm taking it to heart. I've got my bold necklace. I got my bold bright shirt, right? We go together. Is that a thing? You got the bold lipstick, which I got inside the bold birch box. They just are so, they know what they're doing, these birch box people. So let's dig right in. As if the go bold and the box weren't enough of an explanation, I will read the card to you because those are always fun. It says, summer is not the time to hold back. It's the season of wearing brights on brights on brights, driving with the windows down and eating popsicles for breakfast. Accordingly, what better time to dial up your beauty routine a notch or three? Don't worry, we'll be bringing you inspiration all month long. And sales pitch Jordan is out of here. First up is an itty baby sample of the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. The full size of this is $24 and I had seen a lot of ads for this recently in Ulta things and I looked at it and thought it would be interesting like in an ad. But what I was under the impression was, was that it was like a felt tip liner. And when you look at it, like this is the right kind of shape for it to be a felt tip liner. It's not. Um, it, this part is a squeeze tube and that's what it means by push up. Like you have to push up the liner like out of it and then it like squeezes the gel out and then you like line <laughs> and I'm doing a bad job of explaining that. Normally I try to wear the things that I got in my box. I'm not wearing this because I really hated it. Um, I can't get, uh, maybe I just need more practice with it, but like you got to squeeze a lot, then you get a big goopy glob and then you got to like draw with it, but then you still have a big goopy glob and like this is what we get is this hot mess and then there's still extra on the thing that then you gotta wipe off somehow and that's what happened on my eyes <laughs> when I tried to do this on my face. So basically it's just a hot mess and maybe if I took enough time to practice using it I could get it to work but in my humble opinion nothing should take that much effort <laughs> to get it to work. Like this is just not practical and I'm glad I got the sample because I really did like I wanted to try it based on seeing it in the ad and it looked great but this is not no so moving on from this atrocity next is the Dr. Jart Karamidin maybe liquid the full size of this is almost forty dollars and this is a little bit of a confusing process it's called the liquid skin saver looks like an eyedropper but essentially you just like squeeze it into your hand and then like rub it in your face as if it was like a moisturizer and this does a decent job i've been using this at night before i go to bed the sample size is really really good for whatever it is it says that it's an ultra lightweight caramide packed treatments that calms and deeply hydrates skin. I don't know what caramide, caramide, caramidin, whatever. Don't know what that is. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Cause I like it. There's like an Asian language on the bottle. Maybe it's an Asian thing, but it's nice. I like it. Okay. I don't think I'd rebuy it because it's 40 bucks and I can just get a lotion instead of this, but it, it's been doing good things for my skin overnight. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Next up is a product I was super stoked about was the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I could not get over the fact that I got this in a box. Literally the day before I got this in a box, Estee from Essie Button, she posted in a, a video, it was like a short hair tutorial and she was using this. And then I got this in a box. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the product that Estee loves. And I, in the past, have loved everything that I've ever tried that was an Estee recommendation. So I just figured I would enjoy it loads. And it was okay. I was not quite as in love with it and I wanted to be. The full price is between 2D2, two, 2D2. Two, two, two <laughs> nope. Full size is between 22 to $42, depending on the size. And it says that it is a cult favorite multitasker that soaks up oil and gives hair body and bounce. And uh, I have such mixed feelings about it. I didn't dislike it. It was, it was good. The spray is like super like, like spritzy, it's like a wide spray. And I do like it in my hair, it's nice. It gives me a little bit of texture, but it's not like anything crazy. And I think I was expecting it to be like the best product I ever used, and it wasn't. So 
it's fine. It smells good. It does okay, but it's nothing like phenomenal. And I think maybe it's just my hair type. I, my cat is playing with everything. Ugh. Will you stop? Will you stop? There, go on the floor. I'm just as fine with my normal dry shampoo that I use, so I definitely wouldn't spend like 40 bucks on this. I think that this would probably work better in my mother's hair. Probably works great in Estee's hair. If I ever grew my hair out again, I would probably be absolutely in love with this. It's just with my short hair, it just doesn't really accomplish anything, which is a darn shame because I was expecting great things, but it was okay. I liked it fine. It just wasn't worth the hype to me. Next, I got a Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. Full size is $48. It's an acid-free peel that gently exfoliates for instantly softer, smoother, and brighter skin. It's a peel. <laughs> I liked it quite a bit. It did work really well on my skin. I got, a, oof, I don't even know how many months ago, the Aqua Reveal Peel. <laughs> rhymes a while ago and I think I liked that peel a little better than this peel. It was a little more gentle on my skin plus that sample size lasted way longer. I'm already out of this. Very misleading. This is nothing. Like it stops here and this is just a lid. So that was kind of disappointing. Like it's just completely pointless but um yeah, so sample size wasn't huge. It didn't last me very long at all, but it worked fine. I I use it. I used it up. I enjoyed it. I would not spend nearly 50 bucks on it, but it was fine. It was okay. Last but not least was my favorite product in the box and shocker, it's a lipstick. It's what I have on my lips right now. Every time Birchbox sends me a lipstick, it's always my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And it is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Bella, but what they're advertising for Birchbox is a trio of these lipsticks. It's a set of three for $20, which is an amazing deal for Stila products in general, but um, it's a creamy formula that glides on like a gloss, yet lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts like a stain. And let me tell you guys, I'm crazy about this. It truly does glide on like a gloss, lasts like a stain. This color, love the hot pink, and this, sorry, crinkly cat over there, um, this is the closest thing I've ever found to the Lime Crying Velveteen um, matte lipstick in pink velvet. They are nearly identical. I'll swatch them real quick for you. But I love the Lime Crime Velveteen and use that all the time as like my go-to hot pink color. And then this is like a near match. The uh, Stila one is slightly lighter but they're like almost exactly the same. The formula is almost exactly the same and I love it. I wore this to a wedding that I was working recently and I put it on at like 11 a.m. Didn't have to take it off until like 8 p.m. and it stayed the whole time other than like a slight wear like around the edges but other than that like it was perfect. Didn't have any creasing, didn't have any bleeding. It was so good and I'm so obsessed with it and so I really want that trio because that would give me more colors even though I totally don't need more lip products in my life but I want them so you know lip products always win the day. As far as my rating for this month we didn't do quite so hot. Last month was definitely better. As far as products I liked I liked four out of the five. The only thing that I really hated was that push-up liner worst thing ever in life benefit you can do better. So just ditch that idea because it's stupid. Um, the only thing though eh, that I would repurchase is that lipstick which makes it a 5 out of 10 which is probably the worst cigar I've ever gotten in a birch box ever. Oh my gosh. I think half of it is just that everything in this box was so expensive. Like I'd probably repurchase that peel if it was cheaper but you know. I might repurchase that like cleansing lotion or water, liquid, whatever, if it was cheaper. But it's like everything's like 50 bucks this month. It's like, nah, not worth that much. Maybe I'll throw an extra bone for the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray because if my hair was longer, I would probably love that product and want to repurchase it. Maybe I'll repurchase it for my mom. Her hair will tolerate it better <laughs> than mine. Um, yeah, and I did, okay, to be fair to the Orbe, I did use it for a wedding and it worked really well on long people's hair. So we'll give we'll give you a a grace point number six. So yeah, six out of ten. Let's hope for better in August. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. My cat has been going crazy all video and I think that's a sign that I need to go. So if you get Birchbox, tell me what you got. Did you get a better 
Birchbox this month than I did. Do you like my lipstick? I'm just admiring it on the side screen and I'm gonna go. I love you all. You're so great. I'll see you later. Bye. One that I need. Oh yes indeed. Oh yes indeed.